Well, um, my daughter greets our dinner guests with a curtsy and a self-referential smile. Before introducing herself as a mildly schizophrenic. You mean episodically. To our dinner guests. We have raised her to project certain things about herself. There is an etiquette <coughs> my parents taught me. She's a darling girl. <laughs> The way he's laughing there, right there, that's what he does in front of our dinner guests. She has my eye. <laughs> Have you ever heard such <laughs> laughter? <laughs> and crooked smile. The two of them treating our dinner guests like this. She smells of baby powder and bubble bath when I kiss her perfect brow. Guests who have stood before the bathroom mirrors straightening neckties, applying makeup, deliberating over perfume bottles in anticipation. As I lean over her, she tells me I'm too tall, that I will lose my balance and topple over. <laughs> this time, she hid in the bathroom with a tape recorder as one of our guests aggressively relieved himself. I watch her as she sleeps. And I try to approximate the speed at which love travels. <laughs> <laughs> and then she played everything back over our intercom system. During the soup course. <laughs> the laughter again. A fine, but she swat. <laughs> oh, morti mortified is too mild a word. She recorded him saying awful, hateful things things about himself as he... The sort of things that make people's faces twitch. <laughs> Safe recorders function by way of a process that is enabled by simple magnetics. <laughs> about which I speak from personal experience. Everyone continued <coughs> eating their soup, pretending not to hear or listen. <laughs> it got so bad I had to excuse myself. The tape recorder was a present from me. <laughs> <laughs> I found her at the intercom console eating peanut butter out of a jar, as if the only thing happening at the moment was her eating peanut butter out of the jar. It uses those mini cassette tapes, the ones whose smallness in your hand gives you the illusion that you're much larger. <laughs> <laughs> She told me that our dinner guest needed to hear himself, that his virulent self-abuse required the kind of attention which trumps considerations of politeness. I jokingly made a historical reference as she opened the box. Was it any wonder that I failed to reprimand her for eating peanut butter out of the jar? I am not a crook, she said into the table. <laughs> In response, shaking her head in that exaggerated, cheek-slackened way, and then playing the recording back as we both laughed. <laughs> <laughs> then I momentarily forgot I was your dating guest. <laughs> and when you returned, carrying a tray of cocktails with whimsical garnishes, you cast aspersions on those gangster rappers. <laughs> <laughs> that you. explicit song lyrics. <laughs> Making everyone laugh. Almost everyone. <laughs> and the soup bowls? They were all empty. Except for mine. Except yours. <laughs> Supersonic. Yes, I believe you're right. Yes. Your eyes. And your eyes. Yes. Are we done? <laughs>